Happy New Year, church family. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to this uh, week's manna. Uh, I uh, hope that you are well and that all is good uh, for you and, and with you. Let me open up with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, we ask your blessings upon this new day, this new year of 2022, Lord. We pray certainly the Spirit's blessing and anointment upon it and upon our lives and upon our church, Lord. We give you the glory and the praise each and every day, and we ask it in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Church, I am going to be reading from God's promises day by day. This was given to me uh, some months ago, but I often refer to it, and uh, it's, been a, it's been a spiritual blessing. So I want to read for this first day in the first month of a new year, January 1st. The text uh, is from Hebrews 10, 23, and I'll read that for us now. It says this let's hold on to the confession of our hope without wavering because the one who made the promises is reliable this is the word of the lord thanks be to god and the reflection from uh, charles swindoll uh, from the book joseph is this a number of years ago somebody counted the promises in the Bible, and it totaled up to, get this, 7,474 promises. I can't verify that number, but I do know that within the pages of the Bible, there are thousands of promises that grab the reader and say, believe me, accept me, hold on to me. And all of the promises in the Bible, the ones that often mean the most, are the promises that offer hope at the end of affliction. Those promises that tell us it's worth it. Walk with me. Trust with me. Trust me and wait with me. I will reward you. Wow. Standing on the promises of God in a new day, in a new month, in a new year, so vitally and spiritually important. Let us do just that. Stand on the promises of God, believe in them, and trust in the Lord. You will be blessed in this new year doing that. Glory to God. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let us remember and never waver or falter to stand on your promises. From the book of Hebrews, Lord, the 10th chapter, the 23rd verse, he who promised is faithful. You, God, are faithful. And that's a glorious thing. Guide us and bless us. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Take care and God bless, church. Have a wonderful day.